the last thing that I could remember about my past self was the extreme anxiety that perfectly I could have at every time, every day. Seriously, that I feel a total abstract with this brain, thinking constantly about random ideas and things that probably could get worse. This was at every time. This was suffering. This suffering was us. It's maximum splendor until I experience the most beautiful sensation on, on my and this life in general, called the epiphany. Epiphany is the word as a sign for a sensation during a certain period of time in which your vision and understanding of everything it turns by 180 degrees. It means change completely. You understand the things several steps ahead than before. On my case, it was to see adversity as the real path to improve myself at extraordinary levels, starting principally by my mental health with meditation. I always saw this practice as a way to cut off my anxiety, stress, and those stuff. That's because everyone is telling you that the environment is essential. I was always watching videos about how to solve that mental health disorder, and it was told as Lucky for I tried always to romanticize it because I knew that it could give me wellness. That's why also I saw myself as a super magic hero, I don't know, magician, etc. You get it as I hide a character, okay, you know, who is meditating to get power and peace. Now I am doing it for 30 minutes each day. It's seriously that it helps a lot to get a neutral view on many of life and not to get uh, disturbed or affected by your emotions. Okay, that's, I don't know why those are a problem but actually a, a problem can be fixed by leverage those obviously these things take time even me fabricio machado who is some experience again okay, in this practice again okay, i have almost two years of meditation and i still consider myself as a beginner student which now that he needs to improve even if you have 10 20 of 30 years you will also to, to improve it because you will still experience my wondering. We should understand that there is no objective during the practice. We want to carry out our meditation levels to the next point. At the point of meditation, there is no goal, only to live the present moment. And this has not to be affected by motivation. Motivation is a, a desire to get more on the future. And here, we are just living the present moment. You don't need that at all. And yes, my my improving your meditation is to get back to get back to get to back to the person. That is the point. Okay, so knowing this is how we can actually start off. I think that these tips are not common in any digital space, for example, articles or videos. So you are free to judge them and, and to apply them. No, the first point is called consistency of the practice. Yeah, maybe it is common. Okay, never give up, etc. But I want to work. A little bit deeper on this point. Don't be afraid of any imaginative scenario. They, they just don't exist. Because actually we are afraid of our mind and it tells us no, give up, give up, give up. But no, really, it is not what's happening. So I will continue. I will continue, and on the future I will see the the results. And these are not. And these results are not for one month or, or two months or three even. These are seen approximately sessions after one year or two years oh my god thing that okay i have two years of meditation and this will be mindfulness totally no okay even people who have 10 years or more enter on mind wandering and obviously they are more advanced and they can get back to that moment but it is not like 100 percent of the day now in this how we can develop discipline to meditate every day don't think in too much and go there to do what is next to be mastered. Okay, maybe you don't feel like it. It can be uncomfortable, but don't think in too much. Just go, okay? Just go and think, okay, this is just an idea, but the reality is what matters. And by that, the present moment has to be your friend. This is not a lie. And mentally, you will see that you want to meditate every day because your mind has acquired it as a good habit, uh, practice, etc. and always having that intention is life. But yeah, focusing on that short term, seriously that after meditating a bit, after each session of meditation, you feel yourself more relaxed. 
I don't know if it is only my case. Adventures are really the interesting stuff instead of the old. Think of meditation as a video game, which those in the past you have played them because it's about to get fun, not because you have a desperation to complete them once you start playing. Well, this is our the same thing, okay? The adventure here is to know yourself more and respect your own mind, being curious of how it creates all the world and anything around us, actually. Because we are our fault. As an action plan to continue meditating every day, it's about to show kindness with yourself. Sometimes you will know that you are losing the concentration when you have forgot to to meditate at all. Do it again, do it again. Maybe you have to reduce the time or make change of some practice and some music, etc. The power here is to get back romanticizing the meditation practice even more. Which seriously, this habit is like the spinal cord of our lives. Consider them being kind is how uh, you can show power. Why? Because you are being logic and realistic about developing a skill, which is a great thing created with the pass of the time, not suddenly. Trust me. The point number two is that mindfulness is not what you think that it is. And the idea is really simple. Meditation is equal to the mindfulness theory and how you apply it on life is the mindful practice. I want to emphasize here that the, the word meditation is, is, the, is the same thing that reflection, okay? But we have assumed the word meditation is the same thing that mindfulness, by the way. So yes, in, in theory, meditation would be to be lost on your thoughts and maybe to analyze some things or to question, but no, here meditation is like a mindfulness and just to feel all. Not only let my, mindfulness for one time, Okay, for example, your dirty minus each day. No, apply it all the day. For example, try not to do the everyday things automatically and see how mindfulness is on the reality. Don't worry if you get lost into your thoughts because it's about to regain the, the concentration of what is happening right now. Don't stop meditating, but apply the practice concept on your daily life. Also, the skills that you have developed in doing those time of meditation. I said this before on some videos, and my best tip to get consciousness is about rotating your head. Because your brain loses city by knowing that something is happening, and that's because you have rotated. Because you have to be aware of what is happening. Or maybe just to touch something and identify it. Or I don't know. Why? while feeling how your hands are making contact with whatever you have uh, interacting and taking your mind onto your feet. But my favorite way, and maybe the most powerful one, is about supporting with your own thoughts. Chantage. This is the best way to control those to avoid being lost of them. Like a sport in which obviously they are uh, saying who is, who is happening at every moment. Personally, I love those who tell me do the right thing or are judging in a, in a healthy way what's happening for not uh, in including bad ideas into my mind and take in mind that mindfulness is something applied all the day every day not uh, just at one moment finally we have the third point and that's about exercise your brain this means in trying at least something every day those activities in which obviously are supporting your mental health and, ha and good habits, etc. You get that. It will surely help you to get a clear mind instead of an automatic one because thoughts appear for two things for worriedness or automaticity. Always considering changing a space despite of having a, a one set for every activity. I mean, it's an excellent point to have a meditation space to to do it every day but but for this specific one it's better to change continuously because our brain seriously that will get deep into thoughts if you do the same thing every day also consider for example in working in writing in and i don't know in singing in your working out because it is the reality our brains love to do the things automatic also i consider to make creative short term fun challenge to enjoy those activities no as, to, as, as as well as progress into the long term way if you want to apply this on programming for example make make 10 widgets okay to use on websites or i don't know in drawing make 10 arts uh, of characters each of them 
related with one animal. Or on calisthenics, make a workout about 10 types of push-ups uh, as you want to improve and then practice it and change it and modify it. And the other reflection that I can give you is about the don't give zero time is like the independent variable while your results are like the, the dependent variable. I mean that with time all the things will get done and uh, you get motivation, you will get a uh, you will get a guitar key that you are looking for. Um, but time is, is the key. Uh, this is currently a flip also for me, okay? I, I am a little bit stuck on this of self-improvement, but I still feel myself mindful despite that for example I know that I don't I don't have that focus state on every time but but I noticed that. I noticed that in the past on I don't know 10 seconds ago I was wondering no thoughts but seriously when you have a mindful mind all your life is different. Okay, so don't give up continue uh, this stops seriously that this is the most difficult part maybe but but easy and hard things are part of life. So we are living, no?